Mike, 619, nearly 620 right now, actually. And have you looked around your house or office lately and thought, man, I really need to clean this thing up? If so, you are not alone. Throughout July, we're going to help you make that happen with Transformation Tuesdays. You'll even have a chance to win time with a professional organizer. This morning, my dirty little secret, a paper pile desk. It's not pretty, but it's functional. Everything from story files to a mug and cup collection. I have some challenges. Okay. As you'll see. Are you prepared? I, I don't know what I'm going to find, <laughs> but I'm ready. Bertie Brennan is a certified professional organizer, and my coworkers, we're pretty happy to see her. Okay. You need to get organized. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Please help that lady get organized. I'm doing it. The first thing she notices, I, like many others, have a paper problem. Paper is just overwhelming for everybody. So the number one problem is not dealing with it. It's, it's questions. It's, they're not making decisions. So they just put it down. It becomes a pile. I don't even know I have this okay. in my oh, desk. Throw it away then. Okay. <laughs> Our first thing that we're tossing. <laughs> um, and then the rest of it is going to be, you know, notes or, I mean, this is the investigation into the Mark Dan scandal at the Attorney General's office from how many years ago? She suggests dividing folders in this vertical space into files that I use on a recurring basis and those that I use only once. Other files store electronically. I wasn't even going to show her my drawers, but of course she asked. So I have a flip camera that I never use. Um, apparently I'm hoarding coffee, pumpkin spice. This was like from Thanksgiving. I hear you laughing, John. <laughs> I have a real problem with business cards. I I'm wonder sure that. A lot of people do. Like, these, no one ever is going to give me a business <laughs> card again after they see this. Birdie says there's an easy way to organize these. They have them that fit in th three ring binders. Okay. So you can continually add. Okay. Now, like at home, I have mine by category. You know, medical, friends and family, business contacts. But how you're collecting them, you might want to have them by, like, year. Oh, this is a note from my husband. Aww. It is crumpled up in my desk. It's like a sweet note after so, I got back to work. So I'm something that's meaningful. Yes. You need to treat it like it's meaningful. Okay, I need so to treat it like it's meaningful. in the bottom drawer, maybe we have one feel-good file. I'm using three calendars when one electronic printable calendar would work. For all of the extra stuff you have at your desk, Birdie says, get honest with yourself. Do you love it or do you use it? And if the answer is yes, keep it. Just find a home for it. If the answer is no, let it go. Love it, lose it, or love it, use it, or let it go. Let it go. Sounds let like an go. old boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what I thought about when he said Love it, use it, let it go. Mm. Next week, we're going to tackle another desk. Mike, you'll enjoy this one. It's Monica's. She has some problems that I didn't have, but some of you might identify more with her controlled chaos. Things kind of explode over there. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Lots of visual accessories and aids. That's next week on Transformation Tuesday. And if you need some help getting organized, NBC4 Today is here for you. Go right now to NBC4i.com and search the word organize. Send us a picture of your messy workspace and you could win four hours with a professional organizer. I didn't need to send her to your desk, Mike, because you're, no, you're together. No, not at all. And we're going to check on your desk, right, a little bit later? Maybe in a couple weeks. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how you're doing.